So welcome to California. We've been in a lot of places together and this is probably my favorite time of evening as the sun's just starting to go down. You get these great shadows. You get that really beautiful sun hitting the vines and hitting the valley. So we're in California and California, even though um, we all drink Californian wines, the history of California is actually really young. When you think about Europe, when you think about Italy and France and Spain, their history goes way, way back to the Roman times. But when you think about California, they've only really been making quality wine here for just over a hundred years. It's a very short period of time. In 1879, the first grapes came up with the Spanish missionaries. And they made it up to about San Diego, and then they came as far as Sonoma. Later, in the end of the 1800s, um, the real wine interest began to grow here, and people began to grow vines. But it wasn't until uh, just after the turn of the century that vinis vinifera vines, such as Cabernet, Merlot, Chardonnay, started to get planted here. Then there was the setback of Prohibition uh, from 1920 to 1933. Then there was the Great Depression right after that. Then there was the uh, World War II right after that. And then there was the resurgence of phylloxera in the 1980s, 1990s, which all had uh, detrimental effects to the growth of California varieties. Throughout that time, though, California really grew as a wine-producing nation. Uh, they extend about 900 miles south to north. Of those 900 miles, 600 miles are covered in vines at some point or another. And they extend as far as 135 miles inward from the Pacific Ocean to the Sierra Nevada foothills. So you can imagine how, f how wide and how uh, long this area of plantings are. California has been influenced by many different immigrants. Italian, Spanish, and through that, a lot of those immigrants brought their vines with them. So you'll find Sangiovese here, you'll find Grenache, um, you also find all the French varietals, Chardonnay, Cabernet, Merlot, and it's really become home to some wonderful, wonderful wines, and we're going to experience some of those this week.